So this is this is an image. Yep. I got to the New York Times article, but I want to get. I want to go back to my site without closing out the. Okay. So you, did you have it open in a new window? Yeah, I just I'm on. That so now. just close that. Oh, right here. Oh, mm -hmm. I see. Oh, yeah. So that's the advantage of opening it in a new window. So then come right back to your website. Okay, so this key is a link to the New York Times, which is completely silly, but why not? And so is this text. Does everyone understand how to make a link from an of our image and from text? Christina, are you okay? Are you good with this? Or? Okay. okay. Can, you go, can you go to the front end? I just I yeah. don't understand what you're doing. Yep. So I created a, let's go through this again, actually. I'm going to close this. So we're going to start from scratch on, on creating a new module. Yep. We're going to shake up. OK. Well, once, you, we finish oh, once we finish this. OK. So we went to extensions. We went to module manager. It showed us a list of all of our modules, most of which are not published or enabled at this point. Enabled is the same thing as published. OK. We said we want to create a new module. These are all different types of modules we can create at this point. And this list is going to look different depending on what you have installed on your website. And we clicked on custom HTML because we wanted to create a very simple module with just some information. We decided we're going to, we have to give it a title. Everyone has a title. Decided to, to not show the title in this case. Wait, what's the, where it says menu selection, you can choose if you want it on the first or the On which pages you want it to show up on. Okay, so we could it. have it show up only on the amenities page, for example. Okay, it's quite convenient. And then we're going to type some text. You can insert an image just like you can do with an article. Create a link just like you can do with an article. Okay. So make that into a link. Okay. You can link it to another menu item. There's a lot of things you can link to. These are internal links now, not external. So you can link it to the Contact Us page. Okay. So I just did as I created some content. Okay. Thanks. There's another way to create links to content that is on your website. So let's do that. So I'm going to highlight that. And actually, what you can click on here, this is an add-on that we added on. It's called Linker. It's at the bottom. Do you see the Linker? The bottom of your editing page? Is everyone in a module editing right now or something you can edit? Is anybody not? Okay, so we're going to click on Linker. And this is another way to link to articles. Um, say article. And this, the, the neat thing about this lets you search. So let's say if you have like 2,000 articles, you just want to find one, you can just search. And you can type in. I'm lost. You're lost? Sorry. OK, that's How cool. Did you get to, where, where did you get the linker? OK, so let's go back. So right now, this is, a, this is a custom HTML module. But this box is just like you were editing an article, right? It looks the same. It does all the same stuff. OK, so you can do all this stuff in an article as well. You can create links in an article. You can edit images in an article. This is the same stuff you do in an article. Is this under module new? Is that how we got here? Yeah. Yes, module new. And then we chose custom HTML. OK. And then we went to the top, and we gave it a name. Everything has to have a title. We said, don't show the name on this one. It's going to be in the left-hand position, which is the default. It's going to be available to everybody who visits the website. Go, you went to Extensions Module Manager, and then New on the right-hand side. And then it's going to show you a list of all these different options. Do you see that? OK, so then you just click on Custom HTML. It's on the left-hand side, I think. I wanted to make sure that And you can select what page it's going to appear on. And this is controlled by menu item. So you're going to say, this is only going to appear, for example, on the amenities page if you wanted it to. OK. And I just wrote some text. And I said, you can link to text. And I said, one of the things you can do, there's this button to link on the top, like that. Okay. There's also an option if you want to, you don't have to use this. So this is confusing, just don't use Linker. But Linker is another way to create links to, to content. And the, the, the advantage of Linker is that it does let you search through all of your articles. So if you wanted to search, for example, for Pleasant, It shows you all this, the articles with the word pleasant in it. And then you can link to them. How did you get that box open? How come you OK, so I think Linker may be confusing people. So I, we probably should not use it. Um, it's a handy tool to know about in the future if you want to. Um, for now, right now, let's just stick to 
this button box on the top, insert edit link. We're just going to use insert edit link, okay? So highlight some Can text. Can you give an example of why you would need that? Linker? Or yeah, insert? Any link on that oh, left so side. let's say you want to have. Um, it's like the New York Times thing just in Google Chrome. Yeah, of course. So let's say you want to have contact, contact us in that, in that, but, in that box. Mm -hmm. So you highlight it, go to insert edit link, menu. In this case, we're going to link to a menu item. And contact us. Insert. Now I'm going to publish this. Actually, let's put it on all the pages. Save. Refresh. Contact us. This could be a button. This could be an image that says contact us instead. So what happens when you click on it? It brings you to the contact page. And the reason this looks that way is because we haven't added any contacts. Yeah, we're going to do that later. Yeah. So that's um, one of the things you could do. Another thing you could do, let's go back into this. Is I get it, it now. Right. So links to articles, link to, links to menu items. Occasionally, you'll have a link to an external site, but usually it's internal stuff you want to link to. Okay. And the same stuff applies when you're editing an article. Everything you're seeing right now in terms of links is all applies to articles as well. Okay. Right. So Joomla is a content management system, okay? and it's a way to manage content. And in terms of content, one of the things we think about is articles. The way Joomla structures its content is that on the top, you have a section. Sometimes you have more than one, usually just one. Okay? And then you have categories. Usually, you have more than one category. The categories can be whatever you want to call them. They don't have to correlate to your menu items, OK? So you have your section, Joe's business. You have your categories, which can be anything he wants. But let's say he wants to have you know, category A and category B. He can have that if he wants, OK? And then he has articles. And he sticks some of his articles into category A and some of his articles into category B, OK? And that's basically content in a nutshell. That's how content is set up in Joomla. And let's just think of it in ah. kind of an alternative, right? You have a, a file cabinet. And file cabinet is your section. And then inside the file cabinet, you have drawers. And that's your categories. Category A, category B, category C. And then in each of those drawers, you have individual documents, which are articles. Does that make sense so far? Mm -hmm. We haven't touched templates. We haven't touched menus or anything else. Or we modules. All we're talking about is content. Or anything else. We're just thinking as to how we're organizing our content regardless of where we're putting it. Does that make sense? We always have at least one section. We can have more categories under it. And we have articles. And I'm not going anywhere until I have everyone with me on this. Is everyone with me on this? Okay, so now from here we're moving to the menu. Yeah, go ahead. What are we moving to? To the menus. Okay, um, actually, we're not going to move to menus quite yet. We're going to just take a quick look here at content. Okay, so everyone goes to content and goes to section manager. And everyone knows that if we want to edit that section or create a new one, we do it here. So if we wanted to edit it, we would click on the name of it. We would change the name, and we would get rid of the alias. Whenever you change a name, you get rid of the alias because it creates a new alias for you. So all we're doing is we're just all we did right now is you went to content, went to section manager, and we clicked on an existing section, okay, to change it. We could also click on new and create a new section if we needed another one. Can you show us how that translates into the real website? Doesn't translate at all. There's no correlation between this and how anything appears on the front end of the website. Okay. So same thing here, content, category manager. If you want to change the name of it, you click on it, change it, delete the alias, and then click save to save your changes to bring you back to the previous page, which is the category manager, or apply to change and keep going on this page. If you want to create a new one, you click on new. Okay. The only thing you need to put in here is the title and choose which section you want, which is usually just one section anyway. So the section is almost kind of like an empty box that you put in. Yes, and, and the reason why we start from here, we want you to think about your business and your content. What you want to tell the world about your business. You can then flavor it with various, you know, beautiful things as a template, but we want you to think as a content as to what you're going to tell the world. What kind of text you're going to have, what kind of images you're going to have, regardless of how it's going to be flavored. Is that okay so far? Okay. 